Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. I want to present a new technique which I've seen on Instagram. Maybe it's not very new, not new to the people who knew this technique, but let me talk about this later. First my colors, so this is the white. I mixed it with the white pigment drop from Etta Art. Then I have here my blue, it's the indigo blue, it's a resin ink from Etta Art. Alternative in the States and Canada, you can use Octopus and you can buy it at Laura's Art Corner. Here is my black, also pigment drop from Etta Art. And here is my pearl. This is just the mica which I'm using. You can use any um, yeah, mica pearl you want to, I guess. And I can start pouring my pattern. So I saw Kaplaya Art on Instagram the other day and she made a live and she showed one of her techniques. And I think it's called the duet technique. And I was so fascinated because I waited quite a long time that I would get a little bit of her secrets and she made a live. Yeah, there I switched um, off the light in my room because I think um, the light is now better for the video. So what she did, she used some of the colored resin ink and poured it along the edges. Like I'm doing here, I'm doing this in this indigo blue. And, you know... Um, she made made awesome, awesome art. It's amazing what she does. It's optically very similar like uh, Mica from Resin Courses. But I guess they both have different ways of pouring. And this makes it so fascinated that you get with different um, pigments or with different amount of pigments and different color shading just um, similar effects but also different effects. I don't know how to explain it. Um, I think both of the artists have their own touch and I was always fascinated um, also with Kaplaya how she does it. It looks so easy what she's doing and the, the patterns are just awesome. So she made a free tutorial on Instagram and I just was so inspired, so I needed to try it as well. As I don't speak Russian, I didn't have the ratios by then, but I think she published um, the ratios for her modes um, in a post now. So at this time, I was just guessing. I was also guessing the resin. And I used the Ultracast resin, which is a medium viscosity resin. Not sure if this will work, so that was my challenging, but I was glad that I saw how she was pouring this technique. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Kaplaya Art. This was a great inspiration for me and I guess for many, many other people as well. So my black was now on the top of the indigo and now I'm continuing with my... Um, pearl color with a mica and I'm just going in circles like you see randomly and I'm just trying to use it all. This mold I'm using by the way is the crystal mold from Resin Courses from the Dear Mica. It's a beautiful mold and I thought this would be perfect for a pore like this. What Kaplaya achieves is, is really a flower pattern. So, like I said, I don't know if I will achieve it, but if I achieve something else which is similar as nice, I'm already quite happy. So, now I'm putting my white more in the middle where the colors met, the black and the blue. 
and you see there's the big ring of the white and then I'm just taking my clear resin and I carefully push out my colors but before I just quickly use a torch just to pour to pop any um, of the bubbles Yeah, I'm still, I need to concentrate this way because um, it's a very new technique for me. And um, yeah, I need to remember what I've done. So and now I carefully take my cup and pour the resin into the center of the mold. At the end, I just um, make sure that I fill up my mold so it's up to the rim. And then I just let the resin do its magic. You see, I'm just trying to be very careful because I don't want to overfill this um, mold. I don't want to spoil this pour. Again, the torch very carefully. Then I made a mix for the center and I had some shells, I had some black stones and I had some silver cracks or glass stones and I'm just adding them to my center. But you can already see, and this is now real time, that the resin is moving quite good. I'm a little bit concerned about the center if if this will really close, you know, sometimes you cannot imagine will it happen, won't it happen. And especially if it's a new technique for you, you're quite nervous. But now I'm sorting just my stones. And I think with the black uh, stones inside, with the bluish shells and the silver glass stones, I think this is a nice mix, matching with the colors um, of my pour. Now again a final torch and then I just send you a little time lapse how it's closing. And I always think it's amazing what resin does. Yeah, and it's very moving, it's very nicely moving and this is now the same day in the evening. It's still a little bit bendy, but I'm so curious and I cannot wait um, to see what the outcome is. But you see, it's not too soft that I cannot demold it. I'm really curious if this worked, if what pattern comes out of it, because I didn't have the ratios 100% and it's a first try out. And look at this, it's not what Kaplaya did, I must admit. And whether it's um, the mold or whether it's um, the medium viscosity resin, because I think she used a thicker resin, I'm still stunned with the effect. These striations, with, they are so defined, they are so, yeah, you see it, they are really, really um, so seeable and viewable. I'm, I'm very happy about the outcome. Um, with this little video, I just love and leave you. I thank you for watching and I thank Kaplaya Art for making this possible that people can also pour her patterns and that she made a free tutorial. Okay, take care guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.